Welcome to another tutorial on Scratch brought to you by the fine folks at Assimilate. Today we're going to take a look at the reverse assemble feature in the EDL management tool. So let's go ahead and jump into Scratch and we'll take a look at that. First thing I want to do is grab a shot that I pre-baked earlier today. It's a series of edits um, and then it was rendered out into a single QuickTime movie. So what we want to do is have Scratch use a provided EDL and notch the QuickTime movie for us so we can get it back into its components, its original components, so we can um, treat each clip individually. So first thing I want to do is find my movie, which I have here, and I need to load that into the first slot. So with the reverse assemble feature, Scratch looks at the current construct that you're in and what's in the first slot and it uses that as its source material. So it's very important that you write in the right construct with the right clip in the first slot. Next thing I want to do is load the conform, uh, the EDL that's provided. And I can see it's just a regular EDL. I've got events, I've got the real name, shot name, uh, dissolves, cuts, flop. We've got my source in and out, uh, record in and out, and then right now there's no matches. So what I want to do is, it doesn't really matter if I select from construct, group, or project, doesn't care. And I don't even have to select anything here, match time code, real name, or match cross. All it worries about is what's in that first slot. So turn on reverse assemble, and you'll see down below here I have an offset. So for any reason, if my edit my record time code wasn't matching up to my quick time edits, I can offset using this window. Then when I'm ready to, I can start matching, and you'll see it's got a match of one, and they're all the same, whatever's in that first slot. Okay, So if I close this and go to the next construct, where I have some different material, and we'll go to Edit Conform, clear this match, start matching, now it's using that first shot that was in that construct. So again, it's very important that you're in the right construct, and you have the right shot in the first slot. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll clear this, start matching, and we're going to go ahead and we'll lay this out to a new construct, just called Festival. And if you want, if there were multiple versions of this shot with grades or whatever, I can include those duplicates. I can bin in the empty slots that the EDL might create. And if I had CDL info, I can apply that as well. When I'm ready, I hit Assemble, yes and it chops up my QuickTime into its individual components and then I can go through and play through these and take a look at them. So where this might come in handy actually is if I have um, the movie provided to me before the source material is ready. So I can go into my matrix now and I can start grading this. So if I want to make this a little bit bluer ocean a little bit darker okay so you can see I can start to kind of grade this thing and I'll step through and look I've got um, my next cuts here and I've got a dissolve cut and so on so I did a pretty good job of notching this for me now once I'm ready and I've got this sequence kind of um, put together if I want, I can go back to my construct and make sure that I have my original source material. Once it's available, I have that loaded into a construct. And now I can go back and use that same EDL. And instead of reverse assemble, I'm just going to match the time code here, clear the matches, start matching. And you can see now it's matching back to the original source that was used in the first place to create that edit. And then we're going to go ahead and just lay this out to a new construct and assemble. And then let's go ahead and just frame all these fit width. Select all of it. And then we'll just drop it on top of the notched EDL. OK, so if I look over here, I have my source QuickTime and I have my uh, red file in this case that's what I'm using here is red so I can take this QuickTime and by holding down control and hitting the up arrow I can copy the grade 
from one to the other. And then I can just step through my show doing that. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed that little quick tutorial on the reverse assemble, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.